Community is such an important aspect of Islam. The first thing the Prophet Muhammad did when he came to Medina was to found a community, to found a mosque where people could meet. So that serves as a symbol and as a model for Muslims throughout the ages that wherever they live, they need to establish some kind of community that's built around faith. You begin with your family and then you move out and draw people to you. In America, it's difficult for Muslims to get together because we're scattered throughout cities, throughout towns. In smaller towns where there are very few Muslims, it's difficult to live as a Muslim community. So for me, it was important to have a place where Muslim women could get together to pray and meet. Okay, one more. I love opening my home and having my home filled with other women and, and kids on a Friday night. It really makes me feel more at home, even in, in my own house. Okay, you were supposed to finish Muzammin. Who wants to finish with the recitation of Muzammin? You, Amaya? MashaAllah, good. Who else? We always begin our like prayer auction. group with okay. reading the Qur'an because that's the <coughs> fundamental foundation of Islam. <laughs> Despite whatever differences we have, whatever diversity we have, that's the main thing that unites us, is that revelation. So the Qur'an forms the fundamental foundation of our community. Go ahead, Abby. Islam is a universal religion. It's not an Arab religion, but the Arabic language is crucial for Islam because that is the language of the Qur'an. Every Muslim tries to learn Arabic, at least to recite the Qur'an. Among the women who come to my house, we have women from Nigeria, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, American women, a few Arabs, but most of the women don't speak Arabic. It's not their mother tongue. But they strive so hard because that gets you close to that revelation, closer to God. So one of the important things about the surah is that it signifies the transition from the time when he only was a, a righteous person, a person who was guided by Allah, who was protected by Allah, to be a prophet to be someone who has to take the message to the people. Okay. And that was mine. Okay. Okay. The Friday night is just for women, is for us uh, to have our own time. I know Zainab doesn't drink tea. When we meet together as women, uh, apart from men, we're able to discuss freely uh, issues that we might not feel comfortable discussing in the presence of men. It gives us the ability to exercise our own forms of leadership and support and to support each other in our faith and in our lives. Who could explain to me in their own words what so One of the advantages of getting together regularly is that we're able to realize those values and those ideals of sisterhood, of sharing, of understanding the needs of others and trying to provide for them. What do you think? I find it interesting for that reason, too. I believe that many Americans think that Muslim women uh, don't have any rights in Islam. Perhaps they see images of Muslim women uh, being oppressed in different parts of the Muslim world and believe that that is because of their religion. But in fact, we know that Muslim women have the same rights as Muslim men and virtually all the same uh, duties and obligations.